How's it going you guys and welcome back to Conservative Fitness. Last week I posted a free six week handstand push up program and you guys absolutely loved it. So this week I'm back with a free six week pull up program for you guys to help you get your first pull up. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like button, it really helps me out and lets me guys know that you guys wanna see more videos like this down the road. And also leave a comment down below letting me know what you want to see next. So I'll make, uh, I have a huge list of videos I wanna make for you guys but I'll keep adding to that list and keep building out more videos for you. So let me know what you guys wanna see next and I will gladly make it for you. Now, before we get into the bread and butter of what we got going on in this video, I have movement uh, demonstrations for each one of these, so there's no guesswork involved of how you do it correctly or if you look up a video and there's multiple different ways of how to do the movement, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I want it to get done to maximize our efficiency with that movement to get us close towards the pull-up. Also, this program is meant to be done two to three times a week. So let's say you're someone that's close to getting your first pull-up. Maybe you get your chin really, really close, but you struggle to get your chin all the way over the bar twice a week is ideal for you and you're gonna see a lot of progress. If you're someone that's, you know, can barely get, can barely get their, uh, the first initial pull started and struggles to get even an inch up closer to that bar, three times a week is be more ideal for you. But I also wanna mention before we start anything else is that if you feel like you're someone that's slightly overweight, losing a few pounds would definitely help. So if you clean up your diet there, lose 10, 15 pounds, make a huge significant difference on how well you can do it. And I recommend doing this before your current training program. So this shouldn't be the only thing you do. You still have your normal workouts that you do uh, four, five, six days a week, whatever it may be. But add this in beforehand so you can really hit this hard to get the most out of it versus doing after a workout where you might be more sore and fatigued and tired to where you can't really hit it as hard. Now, first, always start with the strict version of a pull-up. Don't, don't start kipping, don't start doing butterfly pull-ups because if you don't have the strength and the stability in your upper back to really control the movement and, and have a full body awareness when you're hanging from a pull-up bar, you're more likely to have injuries or problems down the road. So make sure you have a good base of five, six, seven strict pull-ups before you start adding any kipping variations. Second, pull fast and then lower slowly. So a lot of the movements we're gonna to do today are all pulling variations, and I want you guys to focus on the contraction of the movement, so squeezing really hard, really fast, and then lowering the movement down nice and slow. Don't just go through really fast and then just build a lot of momentum going through the motion. Stay smooth and controlled. Third, form over everything. Excuse me, I had a little burp. Form over everything. Don't just let yourself uh, add a bunch of weight and then kind of get, you know, start heaving things and move through it too fast and not really take your time with each movement. Make sure you are moving nice and controlled. You are in full control of yourself hanging from the bar, whether it be a barbell, whether it be a dumbbell, whatever movement we have listed here for you guys, make sure you are moving with flawless technique and you're always moving to the best of your ability and you're not letting yourself uh, just cut, cut the movement short by just rushing yourself through it. Fourth, take as long as you need for each phase. So six weeks is the ideal phase for the average person to get their first pull up. But again, if you're someone that might be overweight, maybe you haven't done a strength program in years or your entire life, and you but you want to get your first pull up, it might take a little longer for you. So. For example, if you look at week one and two and you finish it and you're like, man, week three and four movements look pretty tough. I don't know if I can do those yet, especially with you know making sure my technique is flawless. Maybe I'll spend an extra week or two on week one and two and then after four weeks spent there, I feel much stronger. I feel very capable to do the movements in three and four. That's also why I have rep range listed. Always aim for the lower rep range with flawless technique versus rushing through it and building momentum and moving through it half-assed going for the higher rep range. Uh, the, the, the strength will come, start small, and build up that strong base. Now, no matter what you guys do, make sure you warm up your shoulders and your lats and make sure everything feels mobile and ready to do pull-ups. Uh, I have a warm-up here for you guys. If you have anything else you wanna do on your own or you wanna do something totally different, feel free to do that. Just make sure all of this is warmed up before you get started. So for this warm-up, we are doing two rounds, 12 band pull-aparts, eight scat pull-ups, and then eight barbell rows. Now for a band pull-apart, you're gonna snag a skinny band, Place about a foot and a half with a band in between your hands. You're going to have your shoulders down and back, your elbows locked out. You're gonna pull the band to your chest and then come back in nice and slow. When you're doing these, if this one I wouldn't rush on the contraction of your back. I would move nice and slow coming back and nice and slow coming in as well. Really focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together and make sure you're not bending at the elbow. After that, scat pull-ups, hanging from the pull-up bar, you're gonna let yourself come to a full dead hang where your shoulders are pretty much touching your ears. From there, you're thinking about getting your shoulders away from your ears by pulling your armpits down towards your lats and trying to squeeze them together nice and tight, and then come back to that dead hang. After that, for the barbell rows, 
You're gonna get into a hinge, bring your torso close to the floor, or close to pointed towards the floor, as close as you can get it. Ideally, horizontal would be the best. From there, you're going to bring that bar up, squeeze your mid back, raise that bar to your belly button, and then lower it down, slow and controlled. Belly button to mid, mid torso is the ideal area you wanna aim for. Make sure you're not going towards your chest because that's gonna start getting your traps, which we're not focusing on for this program. Now, you're warmed up, you're ready to go. Week one and two. Week one and two, you're gonna start off with ring rows, three sets of six to 10 reps, single arm band pull downs, three sets of 10 each side, so ES stands for, and then pull up negatives, three sets of five reps. Now first, for the ring rows. When you're doing a ring row, I want you guys to focus on, again, squeezing the middle of your back and keeping that the main focus. A lot of people squeeze with their biceps when they do ring rows, and even though we want to have strong biceps to do a pull-up, our back is the main bread and butter. So squeeze your shoulder blades together, get yourself nice and tight there, and then lower yourself down slow and controlled. The lower you bring yourself to the floor, the harder it's gonna be. If you feel like you can't bring yourself low enough to the floor and make it hard enough, then raise your feet up onto an elevated surface to where you're almost horizontal to the floor. That'll make them really challenging, but again, make sure it's flawless movement. After that, single arm band pull downs. You're gonna kneel under a pull-up bar with a, ba a skinny band, skinny to moderate band, I should say, uh, tied overhead. You're gonna place your hand in the middle of the band. You're gonna uh, focus on pulling your elbow down at a 45 degree angle, squeezing your lats down nice and tight, and then lowering the band back up, back to that extended position. Again, focus on a fast contraction, squeezing your lats super, super hard, squeeze your armpits tight, and then slowly raise that band back up. Again, you do 10 each side, and that'll be one set and then pull up negatives. These are gonna be different for everybody. Based on where you're already at with your lat strength, is gonna determine how slow you can lower yourself down, but the slower, the better. So let's say you can do a negative that takes eight seconds long. Awesome, take as long as you can every single time. That's why we're only doing five here, we're not doing that many because if you do them right, they are really sucky and they really get you sore for the next day. Um, if you can only hold yourself for maybe half a second or a second and you're already back to that dead hang, that's fine. Just still focus on controlling yourself down as slow as you possibly can. Take a long rest after that first round, or after that first set, excuse me. So that's week one and two. Again, if you look at week three and four and you're like, man, those movements look tough, I don't know if I can do them. Spend a few more extra weeks here and then eventually you can move, up, move on to week three and four once you feel confident and you feel like you can move, perform the movements efficiently and safely. Now, for week three and four, we're doing banded pull-ups. Three sets of three to eight reps. Single arm dumbbell rows, three sets of six to eight reps each side. And then plate pinches, three sets of 30 seconds each. Now for banded pull-ups, snag a band that allows you to get at least three with. I don't want you to snag a super thick band that's gonna get you up to eight. I want them to be tough. I want them to be really, really challenging. So grab the skinniest band you need to just squeeze out three reps. From there, you're gonna keep that band every single day you come back to this program and eventually try to go for four, eventually try to go for five. Just try to add maybe one or two more reps total that you did last time and then we're gonna slowly progress from there. So don't just go and grab the thickest band you have. Make them super, super tough. After that, single arm dumbbell rows. For these, I want you guys to set yourself up to where you can get your torso as almost close to horizontal. If you wanna put your hand on a bench, you wanna put your hand on a box, that's fine. I just put my hand on my knee because I like to do it that way. But when you're here, you're gonna come and bring your shoulder all the way out in front so your shoulder is totally relaxed then pull your shoulder down and back so it's retracted, and then pull the dumbbell up towards your side, focus on squeezing your shoulder blade in, and then coming back to that complete dead hang. So your elbow is gonna come slightly higher than your torso, and then you're gonna drop your shoulder out in front of your torso, so you're getting a big range of motion here, really focusing on pulling and squeezing our upper our shoulder blades together, building up a lot of that lat strength. Three sets of six to eight reps here. After that, plate pinches. You're doing three sets of 30 seconds. So find a set of plates that you can barely hold for 30 seconds. If you, can, if you, snag, if you only have plates that maybe you have 45s, so they're the only ones you have access to, and you can't hold for 30 seconds, that's fine. Snack, uh, hold them for as long as you can. Maybe you hold 20 seconds, drop 10 seconds, and then you rest. That's fine. However you need to do to accumulate essentially 90 seconds total. But pick a weight that you can ideally hold for 30 seconds. And when you're doing it, make sure you are not curling your fingers in holding up the, uh, the plate with your fingers. All right, now on to week five and six. Again, if you need to spend another week or two here, feel free until you feel confident enough to come on to the next exercises. Now for week five and six, we're doing banded pull-ups, three sets of six to 10 reps, barbell curls, three sets of eight to 12 reps, and barbell rows, three sets of five reps. Now for banded pull-ups, same thing we did in week three and four, nothing's changing. Still grab the, the skinniest band you can to squeeze out at least six reps. If you can squeeze out 10 reps, awesome. But try to make it as hard as you possibly can. Come up fast, lower yourself down nice and slow. 
After that, barbell curls. Now, the barbell curls, I see a lot of people when they do them, they get build a lot of momentum and a lot of swinging going on, which is what we want to avoid. So pin your elbows in towards your side and make sure you're coming to a full dead hang where your elbows are locking out at the bottom. From there, squeeze your biceps as hard as you can at the top. Don't just focus on raising the bar, focus on squeezing your biceps and then lowering the bar down nice and slow. Again, back to that fully extended position with your elbows locked out and then pull it back up. Make uh, For these ones, at least eight at very, very minimum without, um, broke, without breaking them up and then up to 12. Um, you don't really need much weight here. If you do them slow and controlled and you're making sure you're not raising your elbows, keep your elbows pinned in, these will be tough with an empty bar for sure. After that, you're doing barbell rows. Now for these, I definitely want you to add some weight and make it a tough set of five. Because we're only doing five, we're focusing more on the strength aspect here, so we're not doing a lot of volume, we're not doing a lot of hypertrophy. We want to just really tax those lats and make them nice and strong. So when we're doing these, snag a weight that you can barely squeeze out five with, maybe six just to be on the conservative side, because I don't want you guys to only do like three reps and get to the point where you start using momentum and start swinging that bar around. I still want it to be in control, so pick a, pick a weight that you could probably do six or seven with if you wanted to, but we're gonna aim for five super pretty, super slow and controlled uh, barbell rows. Now, after two to three times a week of week five and six, you should be very, very close to your first pull-up. If you are uh, almost there, but you need a little more time, you can cut out the curls. I would still do the banded pull-ups. If you're at the point where you can do three sets of 10, but still can't get your first strict pull-up, I'd bump them up to three sets of 12, and then barbell rows, I'd still keep them at three to five. So essentially, cut the middle part, three sets of 12, three sets of five, until eventually you will get your first pull-up. Now, I'm super excited to hear you guys' progress. If you guys have any questions or comments on this video, because I really want to see you guys uh, succeed, send us a message to Constant Very Fitness, whether it be on here, whether it be on Instagram. I respond back to everyone's messages. You guys can send me videos on Instagram and say, hey, am I doing this right? What do you think? And I can give you guys uh, instant feedback and help you guys out there. So if you guys have any questions or comments, again, you can send them that way or leave them down below here. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. If you don't already, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you.